how you do? Welcome to another video. My name is Peppy. And today we're going to be talking about how you can fix your error code 532. I just found out about this band-aid patch that was suggested to me in the MCC server. And I had to read the instructions for this band-aid like five times before I could comprehend what I was doing. And I felt like if we had a video tutorial, it would be a lot easier for a lot of people, especially since I believe most people are visual learners. So I wanted to make this video for you to help you out and show you what I've learned by using this Band-Aid fix. Also, please understand this is not an actual patch. You have to do some of the work yourself to get this game working or to, you know, use the Band-Aid. This is supposed to actually show up in your game as a mod, right? And what it'll do every day, you know, as Trendy resets, every day at 6 a.m. in game time, it will tell you if a CC item is showing up in Trendy. This is what causes a save error, and you cannot save your game until this CC item is out of your game. What it does, it tells you there is a CC item in your Trendy, and that you should look at the text file it creates in your mods folder, and it will tell you what cc item is in there and what has the fashion rarity tag on the item now i know this sounds like really weird especially for people who have not used sims 4 studio because you're going to have to use sims 4 studio we're all going to become cc creators today <laughs> cc editors at least and you're gonna have to use sims 4 studio so i'll link that below where you can download the latest release of sims 4 studio so that you can follow along and you can do this for yourself also please take your time to really support Leroy de Trout because they're the only person I know of who's made anything to help us with this error fix and I really think they deserve the donations so be sure when you go to their page you at least try to like or donate to them if you can. When you get this mod you're going to put it in your mods folder just like any other mod make sure you have script mods enabled and cc and you just go about playing, go about your day, make sure you use like maybe an empty save file so you don't edit any of your saves while doing this because we're just playing to see if we can find a straggling CC that causes this error. Just so you know that this CC might not show up all at once, you might have multiple pieces of custom content that will show up throughout the days in the save file. So this is going to take a little work on your hand, but like all you have to do is just set up full autonomy and just let your game run if you need to. Let it run on three speed. Every day, 6 a.m. when Trendy updates in-game is going to tell you if they found any CC or have any CC to report that has shown up. And once they do, they're going to make a text file in your mods folder. Make sure you put the mod within like one subfolder in the mods folder because they say that it's going to make it easier for you to find this text file that is going to show up in that mods folder where the package file and the Sims 4 file resides. Once you have that file, they have a little tutorial on how you can find the CC that is being the culprit. It's going to give you some sort of resource code on where you can find it and you can actually have your Sims 4 Studio uh, pick it out for you on which piece of CC this truly is because it's not going to show up by the CC name, it's going to show up by the resource. So. There is a little tutorial on that too attached to the blog, so please look at that. What we're going to be doing is that we're going to be opening up Sims 4 Studio. Right now, we're going to open up the file that I found to be the culprit, which was actually one of my recolored CC. I recolored an EA hoodie that came with high school years, and it still had the rarity attached to it. And I didn't know about this. I only knew about it right when I did this. So if you downloaded any of my CC, just know that it's updated now. But we're going to still do this tutorial so that you can see how to fix it for yourself. Hey there again. So here we are in Sims 4 Studio. So what you'll want to do actually is you'll want to go to whatever CC that is pointed out. Once you do the tutorial, it'll show it the CC and it'll open it up for you in Sims 4 Studio. So I'm going to actually open up the CC that I already knew was the culprit before. That's my high school year's recolor. All right, so we have the top that I made. That's just a recolor of the EA cropped hoodie from high school years. And because I made a recolor and I didn't edit any of the actual textures or anything that was um, in game other than the color categories, it still had the EA rarity attached to it as it would show up in Trendy, right? Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open the CC and you're going to go to Warehouse, this Warehouse tab right here, right? And you see all these swatches. Don't worry about the images, just worry about what says Cast Part, 
all right? And what you're going to do on this right side, you're going to make sure you're in the data tab as well on the right side when you click on the cast part. And you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says tags right here. And you're going to want to edit your tags, edit items. All right, so when you open your tags for this cast part, you should get this window that says editing tags, right? Um, and here in editing tags, you'll actually see that in your tags, you're going to see something related to fashion and fashion rarity. On this post where you downloaded the band-aid, you can see on the bottom of the post where it says which tags are causing the issues. And I believe all of them are just fashion tags. So look for your fashion tag. Whatever says fashion rarity of any sort or fashion exclusivity or fashion depop, you want to delete it. So you're going to click on the fashion tag and you're going to want to remove it. After you remove it, you can keep everything else and just save. And make sure you do it for every single swatch. Every single swatch is going to have a fashion rarity. And you want to make sure you go through all of them and do the exact same thing afterwards. When you're done, you're going to click down here and click save. And it's going to say your package is saved. As long as you kept it in your mods folder, it will still stay in your mods folder, but it will not cause you these issues anymore. Make sure that you continue using Trendy or continue using the Band-Aid as long as you play. Because depending on the rarity, as it showed in some CC, depends on when it'll show up, how often it'll show up. And sometimes it can only be like once a week or once every two weeks in game. So you want to make sure that you have it running for, I'd say, at least two in-game weeks to make sure that you got everything that you needed out of it. And this should fix your game and you should be able to run smoothly now. I hope this helped you out and I hope you go back to simming and hopefully have a better time than what EA has been giving us because the amount of DIYs we've been having to do just to get our games to run properly has been absolutely insane. But I hope this allows you to play your game and I hope this makes it easier on you. And I hope this was easy for you as well. Thank you for watching and ask me any questions in the comments. I will help you out as much as I can. Make sure to check out my Tumblr. Make sure to check out my Patreon for save files and mods. And make sure to like, comment, and share this video with anybody that you think needs help. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Bye.